doing? Now, now I. Has anyone? <coughs> Whoa! I mean, that looks like I got shit at the end of my nose. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little bit of a more casual one. I've been really sick, and I still am, but I want to film because I've been sick for so long. So today I kind of just thought I would put on my makeup and have like a chatty get ready with me, but also um show you what my everyday makeup routine is. It's a full face of makeup, but there's no eyeshadow that's like in your face. I haven't got falsies on. Sorry if I sound like sick. Uh, I'm trying to talk as clear as possible, but my throat is so messed up and my head is fuzzy, but let's just ignore that and yeah. I have like two types of primers I want to put on my face. The MAC Strobe Cream and this In Transit Camera Close Up. Um, mask and primer thing. I think I'm gonna put this on first just to like smooth my pores and stuff. I've literally been on and off being sick for like literally a month. I ended up going to the doctors and like they didn't give me anything for it. They just gave me an inhaler because they thought it was that but um Clearly it's not because it I got more sick. So that really didn't help. So now I'm just like really ill and yeah. It's been stopping me from filming like regularly because I have to still go to work. I'm trying to find all my stuff in my bag. But like when I spent the whole day like at work, the last thing I want to do is come home and like like I end up just wanting to come home and sleep. So now I'm just colour correcting. I'm just using like this collection correcting thing. It's uh, in the shade Lemon. I'm just putting that over my bags. Just to try and like take away some of the darkness a little bit. Because, well, I've got really bad bags in my eyes. I might put it around my nose actually. My nose is so red, it's actually ridiculous. <laughs> it's so gross. So now like basically my base is down. I'm just gonna put my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the color Cool Bone. <sighs> I hate that there's no pump. And I know like everyone says it, and before I had the foundation, I used to be like, okay, it can't be that bad, but it really is. <laughs> it just stops you being able to control anything coming out, and it's so frustrating. I need a mirror for this. So I have my driving theory test coming up soon. And I've been like revising for that. And I'm actually kind of nervous, but I don't know. I literally recommend anyone who hasn't started driving and they're like too nervous to start to just do it because I was so scared to do it, but all you're doing is like delaying your time even more because it take is such a long process, like learning to drive. It once you decide you're going to start learning, you're not going to be able to get, you know, you're not going to be able to be on the road for another year or something. M like maybe half a year if, just depend, it just depends how consistent you are. But once you decide to start driving, it's not as bad as like what you think it was going to be. Like, I remember thinking it was going to be awful. And that I would never be able to do it. I found it so hard to start learning to drive and to actually take that step and actually get a driving instructor but I'm so glad I did it because the process has been so long. If I'd left it even longer it just would have been even longer for me to actually get a car and pass my test. It just takes so long. I think I've blended that for long enough now. Now I'm going to conceal, so I'm going to take my NARS concealer, complete concealer thing. I'm just putting that even more under my dark circles. 
I put on a few little light spot thingy, my bobs, my scars on my cheeks. Put it a little bit down my nose. And I'll contour my nose a little bit because it's a bit big. That's so disgusting. I hate having foundation and concealer on my lips. It's so disgusting. <laughs> Oh, God. I'm just using this um, Ellie Girl concealer. I got it in a darker shade so I could contour my nose. It's quite dark, but what color? It's in, to it's in toast. Um, but as long as I blend it out, it's not too bad. Maybe I'll get another shade, but I'm a bit too lazy for that. I can't really be bothered. I don't always contour my nose. I contour it if I have time, and right now, obviously, I have time. So I'm just doing it, because if I have time, I would do it on an everyday basis. Now I'm just gonna get a little bit of the concealer and run it down my nose, because I just wanna like, I don't know. I just want to merge it in a little bit more. There we go. Let's just try and make it look a little bit pointier rather than round. That looks like I've got shit at the end of my nose. Now before I put any powders down, I want to put down another cream shade. This is a MAC um, cream base and this is in the shade Shell. I literally got this the other day and I swatched it and I really don't know if it's going to be too dark. Like. When you have it in this type of light, it doesn't look... If you, like, shine it to the light and when it's reflecting, it doesn't look like it'll be too light. But when you, you know, when you put it back the other way, the actual colour of it seems like it would be too dark. So I don't really know what it's going to be like. So I'm just going to try it because I'm not actually going out. I don't know if it's going to make my face have, like, a pink stripe. It's so pretty, like the colour is gorgeous. It's like a really nice pinky, I don't know, silver, like shell type of colour, like the name. I just, I think I can make it work. I'm going to put some on my lip. It's really pretty. Whoa. I actually really like this. This is really pretty. I just think I'm worried in some lights you might be able to tell that it's too pinky. Okay, that is so bright. Shit. I'm actually going on holiday soon, so it'll probably work for me more once I get a little bit more tanned. I'm going to Mallorca with my family. Um at the beginning of September so I'm actually really excited for that I'm just putting the Maybelline Fit Me powder on my face where I kind of I'm kind of trying to avoid the places I put the cream highlight um, I want to set my nose but I put it on my nose I'm just gonna maybe set the sides of my nose <laughs> maybe a little bit on top So yeah, I'm going on holiday and I'm really excited. I'm li it's literally in like two weeks. I have my theory test before that. So hopefully I pass, otherwise I'll be pissed. I'm just gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I always go to Mallorca. Um, it's some place, it's basically like all of my family love it. And it's just a place that Quite a lot of my family actually know really well. I'm actually going with my nan and granddad as well. So, so I'm actually really excited for that. I'll actually have all of the products I'm using down below. So if I don't mention any of them, they'll be down below. I'm doing my makeup in such a weird order. Uh, I haven't like done any contour or blush or anything, but I'm just gonna do my eyes. I have the worst eyelashes ever. I really have to curl them for so long um, in order for them to stay up. 
and the only mascara that keeps them up is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. Does anybody else put their mascara on before they do their eyeliner? That's something I never do, but I think a lot of people do it the other way around because, well, the other way around kind of makes sense. But for me, because I, I um, curl my eyelashes so much, it makes the eyeliner come off, so I can't do the eyeliner first. But then it makes it harder for me to put the eyeliner on when I've got, like, really curled eyelashes. So frustrating, I don't, I can't win. I mean... That's so annoying, honestly. <laughs> Why? Why does this happen? I know people say to wait for it and scratch it off, but... Oh, I'm too impatient. I can't even explain how many times that happens to me as well. It happens to me too many times. Okay, I think it's done. Can you see how much mascara I have on the eyelid? That is actually so bad. <laughs> I'm gonna have to scrape that off. I'll just wait a second for it to dry. Right, let's see if this spoolie <laughs> Motherfucker. I think I'm gonna have to get like a Q-tip thing. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I got myself a drink. <laughs> the annoying thing is, is because the mascara is waterproof. It doesn't come off very easy. Oh, that's got to be good enough. I love how long this mascara makes my eyelashes, but I can't really look down when I put it on because they make my eyelashes so long, it transfers. So annoying. <sighs> dry. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to wait for my like mascara to dry before I try and attempt eyeliner. So I'm going to take my Kevin Aquan... Uh, sculpting powder in the colour light and my angled brush. This is like my favourite part of makeup. I haven't done like proper makeup like this in probably like a week because of how ill I've been. I just can't be bothered to so, like do it. And when I go to work, I never wear this type of makeup. I don't put highlight on, I don't barely do... I barely do any of this stuff, honestly. And especially when I'm feeling, like, this bad, like, the last thing I want to do is put makeup on, like, properly in, um, before work. I'd rather just get an extra half an hour sleep. Contour has got to be, like, my favourite part of makeup. I usually contour like and bronze. I hardly ever kind of use both because I don't know. Sometimes this is just enough because I'm so pale. So I don't want to look like ridiculously orange or anything. And plus, because I love blush, I kind of find like that warms my face up a little bit as well and just changes like the whole like, oh, I don't know how to explain it. Now I'm using the Essence Satin Love Blush. Um, satin Touch Blush, what? <laughs> satin Touch Blush, and in, it's in the colour Satin Love. <laughs> um, I probably just put way too much on my cheek then. I'm gonna have to blend it out. <laughs> just put a little bit on my nose. Now I'm going to go in with my eyeliner. I always use eyeliner. I wish I never started it sometimes because now I hate my eyes without it. It's kind of just one of these things that makes it so obvious you're wearing eye um wearing makeup. And sometimes I don't want to feel like that. Okay, what else do I have left? Uh now all I have is my highlight and lipstick, so I'm just going in with my Maybelline 
true match highlight. Um, and I'm just taking like this, just this side of the colour. I already have like my cream highlight on which I really like so I'm just going to add a little bit of this just to kind of set it. I don't even want to like touch my nose to be honest, I really like the look of that. Okay, that's it. And then, this is the lipstick I've been wearing literally every day. It's MAC Japanese Maple. It's so nice. It's literally just like a pinky peach nude and it's a cream sheen so it's not like drying on the lips and it looks so nice and plump. I feel like Japanese Maple is one of the MAC lipsticks that's never spoken about but I feel like it's such a nice nude colour. I'm going to take this Pitsy Glow Mist. Um, I've got to mix it because it's got like oil at the top but this is such a nice mist. Um, you can see in a second, I literally do like three or two across the face and I keep it really far away from me. I think I'm just gonna do two. Um, because of the oil on this, I get really scared to put too much on, but it gives such a lovely dewiness to the face. Um, not so much straight away, but more like it keeps my face not drying throughout the day and I kind of notice I kind of noticed throughout the day that when I look at my skin it doesn't look like anything is caking and like drying up in my nose, it just looks more smooth. Um, so yeah, I've kind of just been using that to just like spritz once or twice, just in like this area, like my cheeks get quite dry to be honest, um, so I just like do like one two. So yeah, that's literally my everyday type of makeup. This is what I do every day but I don't do it on like days that I have work because this is just, it takes too long. But when I'm going out I generally don't usually wear eyeshadow all the time because sometimes I just don't feel like that type of glam look. I would rather have this type of natural everyday type of look. Obviously it's obvious I'm wearing makeup. It's not like I've got a full face of glam like in your face, bold lip, bold eye, you know like really harsh contour. It's just kind of like my everyday makeup you know i really hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye